Hello everybody, my name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Excel Basics in 30 Minutes as well as Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, uh, both available from in30minutes.com. And I'm updating both books and I thought today would be a great time to compare Google Sheets with Excel Online. Google Sheets and Excel Online, these are both free software programs, free spreadsheet programs. They're available from Google, this is Google Sheets, and they're available from Microsoft. This is the Excel Online. And the at a basic level, they do the same thing. They let you open up a spreadsheet or create a spreadsheet and then do stuff with the data inside. You can uh, order it in different ways, you can sort it, you can create charts, you can format it in different ways. And that's all fine and good. And they're both free, which is another great bonus. But you know, you may be wondering, well, which one is better for the task that I need to do? And I'm gonna compare the two uh, right now and hopefully do this in less than 10 minutes. And there is a clear winner to take a look at. And let's actually start with Excel online. This is, Excel is probably familiar to more people just because it's been around for so long. And you may be familiar with the desktop version of Excel. That is the version of Excel that you have to purchase as part of a subscription, Office 365 subscription or Office 2019 subscription and install on your laptop or your desktop at home to do number crunching. Excel online is different. You do not need to download anything. You just need a browser like Microsoft Edge or Safari or Firefox or Google Chrome. And then you need a Microsoft account to use it. And if you have a Gmail, uh, not a Gmail, if you have a uh, Skype account or Xbox account, you already have a Microsoft account and you can start to use it right away. Um, it will prompt you to save things to your uh, OneDrive account. Uh, OneDrive is a Microsoft's online file sharing and file storage platform. So you have to save files to that OneDrive. You can't save it to your to your uh, desktop or to your hard drive on your computer. Uh, but that's kind of similar to what Google Sheets does actually, because Google Sheets you're storing your documents in the cloud, and um, you know that's those are in the cloud means servers controlled by Google in this case, and then uh, you also need a Google account to use Google Sheets. So kind of the registration and storage part of it, they're very similar to each other. Google Sheets and uh, and the uh, Microsoft Excel Online. Uh, Google Sheets does offer something called offline compatibility mode, meaning that you can use the program even if you're not connected to the internet, but there are some big caveats to doing it. Uh, one is that you need to use Google Chrome. I think you need to activate a special Chrome extension called offline compatibility mode. I may be wrong about the name or they may have changed it recently, but it's also important to know that I found that the offline compatibility mode doesn't always work that smoothly in my experience attempting to use it. Um, so, you know, you can turn off, you can turn off your internet connection and try to see if it works. Uh, if it works for you, that's great. Uh, but if not, uh, you know, you're, you're out of luck. On the other hand, for Excel online, this always requires an internet connection. There is no offline compatibility mode. And basically Microsoft, if you want to do something offline, they want you to buy Excel 2019 or get an Office 365 subscription. Uh, and those, by the way, are expensive. I think I have, no, I don't have the, I don't have it visible, but uh, you're looking at at least like $85 a year for an Office 365 subscription, Office 365 personal. So Excel online is really a free, al a free alternative to, to doing spreadsheets uh, if you're more comfortable with Excel and that's great. Uh, but you can see that um, they both really require an internet connection to use. So I've just compared those. Now let's go to the feature set. So here I have a spreadsheet. This is a historical data for a uh, mutual fund called VQNPX Vanguard. I don't even remember what it's for, some sort of large cap fund. I basically arranged the data in two columns. There's probably a couple hundred rows or something like that. Um, and you can manipulate the data. So if I want to format the data, it's pretty easy in Excel online. You just go to the home tab and then you could do stuff like I can make this a different font. I can center it if I want to. I can make this really large. That's really helpful. And then I can do things like I can insert cells. I can perform functions on the data. So sum is a popular one. That means I'm just adding everything up in a column. I can create averages. So if I want to create an average of this column here, I can do that quite easily. Um, there's all kinds of stuff, more functions. I mean, commonly used like financial. If I wanted to look at this, I have hundreds of different functions that I can use and that's pretty great.
So that's nice. Um, let's take a look at Google Sheets. Google Sheets, uh, first, actually, one thing I want to mention about Excel before I go on. Excel Online, they use the same type of uh, interface as Excel 2019, the so-called ribbon interface. So there's like a ribbon of features across the top. This is the Home tab. If you want to use different features, you switch tabs. So Insert looks like this. Data looks like this. These are all the different features. Um, some tabs don't have much on them at all. View only has a couple different options here. Like I can turn on and off the grid lines if I want to. For Google Sheets, there's only one toolbar. This never changes. Uh, and these are basically, you know, most of the features that people use every day. Similar to the Home tab, I found. And then if you want more sophisticated features, you go into the menu at the top. And, and by the way, this is the same if you're, no matter what browser or what operating system you're using, using Windows, Mac, Linux, any type of browser, this will always look the same for both of these programs, actually, Google Sheets and Excel Online. So if you need more sophisticated features in Google Sheets, you have to go to the menu options at the top and then drill down, okay? Uh, functions, actually, Google Sheets has a lot of functions too. Financial, like here are all the, actually, a lot of the functions are exactly the same as Excel Online. Like I remember this one was at the top of the financial one for the Excel Online too. So you can go through and, and activate all of those. One thing I've noticed with functions in Excel Online versus Google Sheets. Excel Online, they take their functions pretty much straight from Excel 2019. And if you're an Excel 2019 user or a heavy duty Excel user, you know those functions are powerful. Google Sheets has most of the same ones, but I found that some of them are implemented differently. And some of the things that you might want to do in Excel, if you're used to doing it one way in Excel 2019 or Excel Online, you try to do it in, in Google Sheets and it won't work. Uh, there's one there's one example that springs to mind. It's like splitting the data in a cell. Google Sheets actually implemented something where it's a lot easier to use the function to split data. So like let's say I wanted to, you know, take this data here, 1 1 2004 and split it up into, you know, a month goes here, day goes here and year goes here. Google Sheets has a function that makes it pretty easy to do that. I found that doing it in Excel, it's a lot harder to, to break that out. Or I might have to use multiple functions to do the same thing, which is not ideal. So Google Sheets has a, a slight advantage there. I found that the interface overall for Google Sheets is a little bit easier to use because you're not switching the, you're not switching the toolbar out all the time. This toolbar is always here. Whereas for Google Sheets, like if I want to do something, like insert a chart, I have to switch tabs. So you're always kind of clicking at the top to get at those things, which is not, not the greatest, but it still works out. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about, let's compare two features actually, creating a chart. I'm gonna create a chart in Google, uh, sorry, Excel Online, and then do the same thing in Google Sheets. So here's the data, the same data in each one. I'm gonna highlight all this data. I'm gonna create a line chart. So here we have, uh, this is on the Insert tab in Excel Online. There's a whole bunch of different options. So column, if I wanted to, I could do a, easily do a 2D column. So here's that. Here's all that data. It's a lot of data over many years. So I'm, I just quickly created a chart in Excel Online. That looks okay, doesn't it? The only thing is you can't really do a lot of stuff with the data. Um, you might be able to, you know, you can do stuff like do not display the axis. I can turn that off if I want to. Uh, I, I can, but like if I wanted to change the color on this, I don't even know if it's that easy to do. I'd have to really dig into Excel online to find it. And I don't think I can do it. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can't. Let's take a look at the same thing for Google Sheets. So here I have the data. I'm gonna highlight everything. Then to create a chart, there's a little icon on here. It says insert chart, or you can go to insert chart. And what it does actually um, it auto, it, uh, Google Sheets automatically chooses the chart that it thinks is ideal for the data. So you don't even have to really think about it. That's okay, but what if it just created a line chart for me? If you remember over here, this is a uh, like a column chart. What if I wanted the same thing here? Well, I can change it. Google Sheets makes it pretty easy to change. They call it a histogram of close. It's not actually, but it's actually not quite the same because it's only, it's, um, yeah, it's just not presenting the data that I was expecting there. So actually I could say that Excel online has a little bit of an advantage for that type of chart. But one thing actually I wanted to mention about this is that Google Sheets, in terms of the basic charts you can create, they're more powerful than Excel online in general. 
Um, one thing that you can do is you can quickly modify things. You can switch rows and columns just with the click of a button. Although that didn't work out for that particular example. Let's go back. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can change the color. You just click on customize. Uh, let's see here. Chart style. I can smooth it. I can smooth these lines out if I want to. I can quickly change the font title font to like, let's go to comic sans. If I want to do that, you can just see it change that. I can change the colors pretty easily too. It has an auto text color, but if I wanted to, I could quickly make that purple. Or I could make this, this color purple. Um, major grid line color. It's blue right now. I'm going to make it orange. The grid lines just turned orange. So there's lots of things you can do with the, in terms of customization on the Google Sheets version that you cannot do in Excel online, like changing the color or doing some of the things I was just doing, changing the font styles. I, I don't think there's a way to do that in Excel online, at least not yet. So that's an important consideration. Uh, and overall, I'd say that when it comes to doing stuff that I like creating a quick and easy spreadsheet, I have two options here. Each one of these is free. Each one of these does the basic functions pretty well. But when it comes down to actually getting things done, I almost always use Google Sheets. I don't use Excel online for quick and easy spreadsheets, uh, either for creating them or for modifying them or for, for collaboration. Yes, you can collaborate pretty easily with Excel online. Just press share, send an email. Uh, but you can see that the options here are pretty simple. I can, I can uh, let them edit it or I can let them view it. I can say if they do or don't need a Microsoft account. I put their email address here. I can add a note. That's it. Same thing for Google Sheets. Press the share button. And then you can, you can do things like, yes, you can enter someone else's name. You can add, you, there's a couple more options. You can, you can just let them comment on it. And then you can go to advanced. And you can do stuff like change the specific people who are accessing it. I can make it public on the web. I can just limit it to people at my company. So right away, you can see there's options here that I can do with in terms of sharing. Um, like I can prevent editors from changing access and adding new people. I just can't do that with Excel Online. Um, it would be nice if it had it, and maybe they'll change that in the future. But so far, Excel Online is really pay is playing catch up, in my opinion, in terms of the features on Google Sheets. Google Sheets, it's faster, to, it's faster to use, it's easier to uh, create simple things and modify them. And basically, while it, you know, it doesn't have all the features of Excel 2019, I think it has more features than Excel online. And for basic spreadsheets, Google Sheets is the, winter, is the winner. For more information on how to get the most out of Google Sheets, as well as Excel online, Excel 2019, I've written books about this stuff. Uh, I also have a lot of videos. Go to In 30 Minutes to find out more about both of them. And thank you so much for watching.